The next question, the member for Ottawa Vanier. Thank you, my, Mr. Speaker. My question is also for the Minister of Mental Health and Addictions. Mr. Speaker, consumption and treatment services sites have a role to play in arm reduction, but their implementation and specifically their placement need to be carefully considered. There are four of those consumption sites in the entire city of Ottawa, and three of them are located in my riding of Ottawa Vanier, and they are all located within 600 meters of one another and right by the Byward Market. As a result of this cluster and the proximity to namely elementary schools, the surrounding community has been severely impacted. Residents have seen an increase in violence, thefts, over, op, open drug dealing, drug use, and people overdosing, which is even a bigger issue due to the high number of children attending school in the area. In fact, a daycare even had to close their door because they could no longer expose the children and the staff to the hardship question. created by this situation. My question to the minister is, can the minister explain how the concentration of these three consumption sites were allowed in this one area and when steps are being taken to limit the impacts on the community? The Associate Minister for Mental Health and Addictions. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Well, let me state it very, very clearly. For us, public safety is a primary concern. And as we said, there is an ongoing review with respect to the consumption and treatment sites in the province as a result of the tragic incident that occurred at Leslieville this summer. That review, Mr. Speaker, is going to help us determine the path forward and how we can better protect the people using the services in the communities where they're located. Again, public safety is a primary concern. Until the review is complete, decisions about the sites are on pause. I can, however, assure you that your concern is noted, and I would love to continue discussing that with you in terms of how this came to be and where things stand, and perhaps uh, look at that specifically as part of that response. Process. Thank you. The supplementary question. Thank you. I do appreciate uh, the answer from the minister, and I want to underline that consumption sites have a role to play in addressing the opioid crisis, but the solution cannot end there. People who have challenges with addictions are healthcare patients needing treatment. Providing those who are addicted with a safe place to use drugs may protect them from overdose in the short term, but it does nothing to address the unwilling illness, underlying illness. We need to take a holistic approach to addiction in this province. Last week, I did ask the Minister of Health to approve the request for a proposed nurse practitioner-led clinic that could provide much-needed addictions and mental health services. Consumption sites cannot be standalone facilities. They must be truly connected to health care and mental health treatment, food banks, housing, and other social services so that we can actually help address the Question. underlying issues that lead to addictions. Mr. Speaker, what steps is the minister taking to ensure that the consumption sites in my riding actually connect to those who are addicted with the health care and social services that they need to get better? The Associate Minister of Mental Health and Addiction. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. And I'd invite the member opposite to take a look at the roadmap to wellness and look at the plan. We have been discussing, I have raised this and have said it many, many times in the House, the continuum of care requires there to be an entire and complete process within community. So when we talk about withdrawal management, when we talk about addiction treatment, when we talk about the supports that are required subsequent to that, including the housing. Now this government, the first government to have a minister responsible for mental health and addiction is looking at these problems from the standpoint of a multi-ministerial approach to ensure that the investments are there for the individual Order. so that once the treatment's completed, they have an opportunity to reintegrate into housing, a job, and everything else that the rest of us want in the province. That's what this government doing, is doing and Response. will continue doing that. Thank you. Thank you.